How a Cuckoo Clock Works We are all familiar with the cuckoo clock, but there are many that are not familiar with how a cuckoo clock works. The major components of a cuckoo clock are the weights, the pendulum, the cuckoo, and the clock. A cuckoo clock runs through two to three weights attached to chains. The chains are connected to a different set of gears that control a different function of the clock. As gravity pulls the weights down, the weight's chains move the gears. The first weight controls the clock's ability to keep time. The second weight controls the cuckoo bird and its sound. And the third weight controls the clock's music and dancers. Another way a cuckoo clock is able to keep time is through the clock's pendulum. As the pendulum swings, it moves the gears that control the clock's time. Another major component of a cuckoo clock is the cuckoo. The cuckoo and its sound is controlled by the second weight on the clock, and when triggered on the hour, the small wooden door on the front of the clock opens and the cuckoo chirps. The cuckoo's chirp is created through two small bellows inside the clock. When the second weight is triggered, it pulls air into the bellows and then pushes air into two whistles connected to the bellows. The first whistle makes the cook and the second whistle makes the coo. The last major component of a cuckoo clock is the clock itself. The clock, which is controlled by the first weight and the pendulum, is used to tell time in minutes and hours. While each major component of a cuckoo clock is important on its own, the most important part is that all the major components of the clock work together. The clock should keep time, and when it strikes an hour, the cuckoo and music should sound. And there you have it.